All right, thank you for staying with us. It's still sports tonight. Uh, before uh, I talk about the league, of course, you uh, have seen uh, our build-up um, to the new season. Uh, Dennis uh, Adesson Louis um, says, I can see South Africa is starting to miss another Afcon. Um, sad for Bafana. Um, all right. Well, they can qualify as second one of the second best teams. So not, don't write them off yet. Uh, but our own concern is how the Eagles will be where they deserve to be, where they can be uh, if we put our house in Canada. That's at the top. Um, not just qualifying for a Nations Cup, but going there to win it again. And maybe there's a little bit of history that we'll be doing now. Uh, we miss out on the Nations Cup. The next one will win it. We miss out. The next one will win it, but you know, all these are permutations. It happened uh, just <laughs> once. <now. laughs> let's just leave those ones on one side. But guys, let's uh, focus now on, on the new season. Wally, um, we've had a beautiful build-up um, to, to the yeah, season. Yeah. Um, let, let's start with Rivers United. Excellent pre-season. Um, and today, uh, in Lagos, um, they're also showing us that they're not just preparing their team on the pitch. They also want their team to look good. Yeah. They presented the jerseys that the Rivers United will be using for their continental and domestic campaign um, today to the media. Uh, and um, they also got some money from their kids' sponsors. I think Rivers United will be one of the teams to beat this season. Of course, they, 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 they would. I remember they run us up last season, which has gotten them a, a CAF Champions League ticket. That's great for them, but um, they need to do more. And I think they've been doing more. If you look at the quality of players they've signed, They've signed quality players. I mean, they've signed quality everywhere. Mm. We talked about them on Tuesday. Yeah, the think, quality of players that yeah. they signed on Tuesday. And I think the biggest threat to Rangers defending the title has to be Rivers United. Even in preseason, they looked good. I think they played the Imbai yesterday. And it, was, it was a goalless the affair. They went to Madrid, Spain, you know, also um, to, 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 to really get ready for the season. I'm interested, I'm interested to see how they also cope with CAF Champions League. And the, the Kremlin, yeah, be very, very interesting. I think they have a large squad and they have an experienced manager. You can never take that out. He knows the CAF champions, he knows the local terrain very, very well. And um, at the ceremony today was really good. The jerseys look really good, good for television. And that's one thing I'm looking forward to this season. I think almost every club has got fantastic jerseys that are so good for the air and even for mm. television. Now, that's that's what they've improved upon. Okay, Palokum um, is our good friend. He's the general manager of Rivers United. Uh, or, times, or sometimes he quarrels with us uh, when he sees our, our crew uh, come to cover their games. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a good friend all the same. Uh, and he's been speaking about um, Rivers United and what we should expect from the club this new season. Rivers United uh, is a new team. It's not uh, two years and uh, the team is doing great. Imagine a team that, uh, that just came uh, six months back and uh, being in, uh, coming out uh, second in the league. Oh, the team is, is wonderful, it's great. When they're like the beginning of the season, although we are like struggling to make it, but yet with determination, we're able to achieve CAF. And with the kind of caliber of players we have, the kind of experience we have, like Femi Thomas, Efosa, who at least are playing in the continent, like Sudan. With other players, like the uh, Efrain, also like played for Nasra. So with those kind of caliber and experienced players, I believe this number uh, will go further. We're going to do our best because we know that much is expected of us. Especially with what uh, the state governor has put in, in terms of finance, you know, he has been able to provide for us all that we want financially. So this is time to pay back. We must try work hard to ensure that we do not disappoint the state government who are our chief sponsors. And then the UNICEF has been doing their own bit. Like you have seen the kit they have just provided for us to go all out there to play football. So we'll do our meet best to ensure that they are happy. Well, that's uh, General Manager, um, Rivers United, Oke okay, uh Federico Bomate, one of their best players last season, and a new signing, uh, speaking to us uh, earlier today. Um, so we'll see. We we'll wish them the best. They'll be representing Nigeria in the CAF Champions League. We hope that they can go out there and make Nigeria very, very proud. Guys, let's, let's do what we... 
um, I've been doing since the beginning of the week, build up to the new season. Today we are focusing on five clubs. I told you we're focusing on the Plateau United, Abia Warriors, Raymond Stars, El Kaneme Warriors, and Nasarawa United. So let's uh, start off uh, and uh, see um, which club um, is up first. Uh, for us to talk about on the program tonight. I think it's uh, uh, Plateau United. Um, guys, I'm sure you know about Plateau United already, but for our viewers and those who are interested in knowing the clubs in the Premier League, Plateau United have their home ground at um, the Rampant Stadium in Joss. That's where they play their home games. And they are also active on Twitter. Um, their Twitter handle is at Plateau United, at Plateau UTD FC. You can see right there. Uh, the address on Twitter. Their nickname is Peace Boys. Mm. Yeah, Peace Boys. Uh, the head coach is a new one. He's a young man. Very... Um, um, Has a good football brain. Yeah, good football brain. Surprise is gone to Plateau United. Yes, right? Kennedy Boboye, former international. Uh, their captain is Elisha Gobi. Uh, and the administrator is Piles N1. All right. Uh, they have acquired a number of very good players to strengthen the squad. John Gadi from Abia Warriors, Kabiru Ayinde from Abia Warriors, Emmanuel Oluwo, a veteran campaigner yeah. uh, from Abia Warriors, John Yakubu uh, from Abia Warriors, Dele Ajiboye, excellent, uh, one of the best goalkeepers in the league. Don't, don't um, be, be, I mean, taken aback by the fact that Warrior Wolves went down. That guy was solid last season for Warrior Wolves. And um, where are they going to finish this season? Um, we are predicting that um, they could be in the middle of the mid-table mid Mediocas, what, yeah. what, what we call mutable mediocre, but we want them to prove us wrong. Look, this prediction is just our own permutation. Yeah, it's not cast in stone. Mm -hmm. So go out there and prove us wrong. Yeah, uh, that's it. <laughs> Remember, a lot of people thought uh, Claudio Ranieri would not last uh, a month and uh, prove everybody, everybody wrong. Everybody wrong. And Pl Pletu United have the opportunity um, to do that. We'll see how all of all, all of that um, pans out um, for them, but. Mm. We'll see. Um, no match has been played yet, so, so it's very difficult. Mm. And, but and, and titles are not won before the season starts. Never. Yeah. Never won before the season starts. So maybe, maybe with a few games, we might be able to say, okay, uh, there, there'll be a change or no change. Mm. All right, so that's uh, Plateau United for you. Let's go on now and talk about Raymond Stars. Uh, uh, Wale Adegun, uh, Raymond are planning to take the season by storm. Yeah. Uh, they've promised everybody who comes to watch their games, they are going to be enjoying a lot of hospitality. There's free Wi-Fi for you yeah. uh, to be able to monitor um, and, and get on the internet. Match the experience. Match the experience is yeah. going to be fantastic for you. But let me just run through some of these things for you. Uh, the details around Raymond Stars. They're going to be playing their own games in Shagamu uh, at the uh, Gateway Stadium in Shagamu. That's where they'll be playing uh, their own games. Their Twitter handle is at Raymond Stars FC. Their nickname, Sky Blue Stars. Their coach is a former Nigerian international, um, very um, experienced uh, with youth teams, but also very good tactician, Unduka Ugbade. Their captain is Victor Mbaoma. The administrator or the owner of the club is uh, Kunle Shoname, who also owns a club in the Portuguese league. Yeah. And that will count for so much for Raymond Stars. Some of their best players can easily move to Europe. All right. And uh, they are playing in the Premier League for the first time. But uh, uh, a number of good players have joined the club. Just have a Yimofe, former junior international. We have a Gideon Biwarang from Plateau United, uh, David Walbe from Cardinal United. Solomon Enudi from Ifa Yoba, and we are predicting that first timers they probably stay up and end at the middle of the table. Yeah, the, the owner of the club, Kulesha, has, has talked about the fact that hey, our target is to avoid relegation. Um, we are not punching above anywhere in here. We want to stay off relegation the next season, we assess whatever we want. target. Yeah, yeah. and um, I, I think for Rebel Stars, they've done really well in terms of um, interaction with their fans. Mm. I mean, building up to the season. Like I mentioned free Wi Fi, nobody has done that. Um, right Apart now, from free wifi. and you know, for the fact that the owner also has got club in Europe, it's got standards. You have to live up to those standards. You can you can't drop those standards. So it, it interesting to see how, how, how the shape up. They've got three difficult games in the space of seven days. First game is Plateau United at home. Second game is a tough trip to Gombe United before they take on Abia Warrior. So mm. it's a difficult start season. I think much later in the season also they've got a tough run of games, especially in May or April for them. So um, let's see how this young side will cope in the MPFL. We saw MFM give us some good football on the young side. Onduka knows his way around young players and let's see how they do. But staying of relegation is critical for Remo Stars. Mm. All right, Abia Warriors started the season like a house on fire last uh, time. 
uh, but at the end, they had to survive against the drop um, on the last day. Where are they going to be playing their home games? They're still going to be playing at the Omaha Township Stadium. Um, their handle on Twitter is at Abia Warriors, so you can follow and uh, keep track of what the club is doing. They are called the Umahia Warriors. They have a new head coach, okay, Modi, very experienced. Uh, he's been calf coach of the year before with the Inyimba when he won the Calf Champions League. Uh, their captain is uh, Super Eagles uh, defender, Austin uh, Oborakbo. Uh, and of course, the administrator is very experienced as well, um, Emeka Inyama. Um, they've been able to make a good uh, number of acquisitions this year. Moses Ocheje has joined from Inyimba. Uh, Chine Duefu has joined from Atland. Abiodun Adebayo from Tornadoes. Shiwonu Laya from Sunshine. Dilo Lanodari, uh, the powerhouse uh, from uh, Sunshine as well. Uh, Sonda Adetunji from 3SC. Michael Koyo from Ikorodu United. Um, so that's uh, uh, the happier Warriors for you. And um, we'll see how they'll pan out at the end of the season. That's how they United. Um, I still going to be playing away from home. Uh, the Latvia Stadium is not ready yet, but they are working on it. It could be ready before mid-season. They are going to be playing at the Aparaku Stadium in Makodi. Their Twitter handle is at Nasarawa United. They are called the Solid Miners. They are very well motivated by the Nasarawa State Government. Their coach is also a hard-working young coach uh, with a good football brain, Kabiru Dogo. Their captain is Emmanuel Makama, excellent defender. And uh, the administrator is also uh, very experienced, uh, Isaac Danladi, uh, who is the chairman of the club owners. And uh, they've acquired a number of new players. Gideon Williams from Sunshine, uh, Buhari Jafar from Sunshine, Baba Hussein Lawal from Pillars, Sheo Rabiu from Pillars, Victor Okoro from Jigawa Golden Stars, Anthony Osu from Atland. And uh, we're hoping uh, from our predictions that uh, with the quality of players that they have and the experience, they could be finishing Amongst the top four. Keeping a social is key. Um, they lost him. They, they, they lost him to Rivers United. Keeping him was key, but um, they couldn't do that. And that's why I disagree with the top four finish forecast. Um, I think that Nasara United will struggle. There are too many clubs who have acquired really well. Mm. Who have also got some consistency to, to now finish in the top four. I think it's a difficult so where, ask. Do you, where do you see them finish? I think top ten is, is realistic, okay. but top four, mm, no. Top no, call no, for no, them. It's a tough call. You hear me? I agree, Wale. Uh, I think it's going to be difficult. Uh, they are well motivated, have a good coach, there is stability. But even at that, uh, I, I, I don't see them in the top four. Mm -hmm. um, I have a feeling they will do well in the cup competitions. <laughs> I don't know why. They seem to always do well uh, in, in those cup competitions. Mm. All right, let's see if you can uh, talk very quickly about um, Eric and Amy Warriors of uh, Meduguri uh, before we we'll wrap up uh, this segment. That's the last club we'll talk about uh, on our focus today. Eric and Amy Warriors of Meduguri. Um, Last season, started playing uh, in Katsina, yeah. um, at the, um, uh, the stadium in Karkanda Stadium Karkanda. in uh, in Katsina. Before they moved to Meduguri, footballers went to Meduguri, and once they got back to Meduguri, they won all their games. They didn't lose a game. At a point in time, they didn't consider goal until I think they considered to MFM. Um, in that three, well, again, they still went on to win. Home form is critical for Elkanemi, and trust them. Um, they will get all the appointing. It's a tough place to go to. Remember that before you even play a game at my degree, you know the hours you put in. You know, the, the I, I, and the good thing for away teams, uh, lifting people. Yeah, yeah but the good thing now Abuja. is that we hear that hey, you don't have to go to Abuja anymore. You can go straight to my degree. Um, they said everything is okay right now. But home form is important for El Kanemi Wars. And how they do it from I don't think they are, they are, your, they are your proper away team. But I think that it, at home, they'll get almost all their points and that they'll make life difficult um, for anybody who comes over there. Mm. All right. So that's it. Their home ground is the El Kanemi Stadium in Meduguri. Uh, their handle on Twitter is at El Kanemi FC. All right. At El Kanemi FC. Their nickname, Borno Hami. All right. <laughs> and their coach is still Adam Boso, very experienced um, yeah. former Flying Eagles coach. Uh, their captain is George Michael. Uh, all right, uh, for El Kanemi Warriors of uh, uh, Meduguri. And so we uh, keep our eyes on the club and hope uh, that they are um, able to um, live up to um, expectations. Okay, we'll, we'll talk more um, about uh, the other clubs um, tomorrow uh, on the show. We need to go on a quick break now and then I'll allow these guys to um, take a rest. Uh, that's uh, Wale Adigun and uh, Yemi Adibayo. Guys, thank you so much uh, for your time. It was a pleasure um, doing on, on the show. We'll go on a quick break. When we return, Femi Adifeso has all the stories for us and basketball, a whole lot on Sports Tonight. Join us again.